my darlings and welcome to the thousands of subscribers that have joined me in the last few weeks. It's just gone through the roof, hasn't it? I just can't believe it. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope you stay. And I also hope that you spread all of my awareness and my knowledge in my videos to other people to just spread that love out there. That's what we want to be doing. This is what I was aiming for all along and I thank you for your ongoing support. I really, really do. I also am amazed by how many of you are enjoying the channeling. I'm getting such amazing feedback on that. And just to sate the bellies of the psych uh, the skeptics rather. <laughs> just to sate the bellies of the skeptics. We have Archangel Ariel talking about a burgundy rose. How many of you messaged me, emailed me and told me about the synchronicity of a burgundy rose right in front of you at the time when that was happening? And also the fact that she turned on Alexa, the A word that creates music, so it'll just start, um, in the middle of the channeling. Nobody else is in the house, completely alone, and she did that just to show what they can do. Um, and I'm sure that the more we carry on with these different videos, especially the channeling ones, they'll show us more phenomena. It happens on most videos, to be fair. I miss all the orbs, but you spot them all, don't you? Yeah, you spot them all. You're very, very clever. Um, so I will continue with those. Thank you very much. There has just been a slight little delay in getting everything out there. There's a lot of change coming. Oh my God, there's a lot of change. That's for another video. Um, but there's a lot of change coming because of everything that's happened um, with this unprecedented rise in um, viewing and followers. I just can't thank you enough. But one of the reasons, not only my beautiful friend Alex Ferrari, who said it's going to blow up after you've done this video, um, but the GC Conference, <laughs> the Galactic Spiritual Informers Connection. Oh my God, it was mind blowing. If you are a sceptic about anything to do with the galaxy and alien species and star seeds and anything like that, you need to come and what you need to come to this conference. I have never been to somewhere so magnificently organized. Marsha, who was the lady that was liaising with us, run this superb team. I had um, a beautiful guard looking after me. Danny Henderson, my darling angel friend, you absolutely smashed it out of the park. How she arranged such a magnificent conference, I will never, ever know. I stood amongst gods of truth for this planet. I literally sat there and all you heard from Nikki Ann was either me crying my eyes out. Yes, it's John Charles and Melanie. You will know about that. Um, I was filming Melanie and um, I was crying because it was just so incredible. So I was boo-hooing and ruined a film. Oh, I was going, Jesus, I know it's blasphemy. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, what? When Dr. Christiane Northrup gave us all the details of COVID and the vaccines, I'm like, I, I was beyond blown away. Now, my little niche was obviously covering the angel frequency, the spirit world, um, a place that religion tells you you can't go to, you know, because you have to be special. And if you're special like me, you're then part of the, the devil clan, you know. You're part of uh, Pan, the king of the elementals, but to you, the goat and the man. Um, so I showed people, thank you, my ear's gone deaf and the other one's humming, so the angel frequency is here. Perhaps they think I'm going to do another download. Who knows, I might do one after this, cheeky. Um, but I literally had a room of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people and I took them up to the Crystal Palace like I do what the, you see me do. And about, I would say 90% of the people there got up there. And what was just amazing was, is that, you know, I think some people think, was it my imagination? You know, Nikki took us up there. Did I really go there? And I just got literally an email this morning. Well, I didn't get it this morning. I found it this morning because I am up to here with emails. Um, and it was from the conference time from this lady who'd literally gone up to the front door of the Crystal Palace and then she was whipped away by this angel in robes who then took her to a stadium and when she asked who he was he said he was Archangel Michael and he was encouraging her to use her throat chakra to speak her truth and to do stuff. So this is what happens in this mass exodus up to the spirit world to the Crystal Palace um, and then I gave messages afterwards it was such a beautiful evening 
And the following day, as soon as she walked up to me, I said, you've got Archangel Michael standing with you. I could see his energy all over her. And she went, oh, oh my God. So it was her synchronicity because Michael had been with the night before and he was there. The energy of his frequency and the colour of his frequency was just vibrating around her whole being. And so she was like, oh my God. And I'm like, there you go. That's your synchronicity. Get going. Get on the angel frequency and start invoking, doing the cards and talking to your angels because they're there. So that was my part in it. But oh my God, that... It, you literally the next g6 i think it's still going to be in the states you have got to get there the love the understanding the amount of i see you where you just recognize souls and clusters was it's just indescribable i was i was just crying most of it with joy and with wonderment it was just incredible Inc incredible so i'm just going to introduce you to some of the beautiful people that i met and i hope i can say that i'm friends with now if not i'll stalk them i don't care i'm shameless <laughs> the most beautiful and gentle dan willis Isn't he beautiful? Oh my God. He's just got the most gentle spirit, the most gentle energy, but he punches with the most powerful, most powerful truth about Area 51. Go follow him if you're interested in this sort of thing. He was in the Navy and my God, did he uncover some secrets. I was sitting there and Darren was like, oh my God incredible beautiful soul so pleased to have met you danny and hopefully dan sorry because i'm thinking of danny henderson sorry dan um i just soon i'll be doing interviews on my podcast and i really want him on there i want all of these on here so let's now look at the sexy beautifully tall most loving wonderful man out there brad olsen Now, Brad, despite being the best hugger ever, well, no, second to Tony Rodrigo, um, he was showing the most, oh, that's Teddy. He's obviously on his line light mission. Um, he was showing the most mind boggling stuff that you just, you can't refute it. He spends his life going around. He's got all these different qualifications. I can't remember what they are now, archaeology and things like that, I think. But, my my take on it is is that and i've watched watch him now he's just incredible he finds ancient civilizations a lot of them underwater he's discovered them he's got slides of them and pictures of civilizations whole towns cities found underwater in antarctica in all sorts of places and when you look at the buildings there is nothing on this earth that could build them like they're done nothing on this earth like where pure stone is like rolled into another bit it's just impossible and the width of it the height of it the weight of it not even a crane could actually do that my print has just turned itself on can you hear that not even anywhere near it thank you it's gonna get spooky i swear if it prints something really scary, I'm out of here. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Thank you, whoever that was. It's lovely that you can manifest and uh, create electrical weird things. Anyway, I hope you heard that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so he shows ancient civilizations. And without a doubt, you know, it's got to be alien, um, in, not interference, but alien technology that's crafted these wonderful, magnificent civilizations under ice, underwater. Give him a look. It is just mind-blowing. 
the, the other people I adore is Jean Charles and Melanie. So here, I've just shown you a few slides and a bit of um, film there from their presentations. Alien abduction. And it's not, you know, it's not like some people think, oh, you've been abducted by aliens, blah, blah. But these are solid, creditable people that have got the proof to back it up. And it's just super stunning, I've got to say. And then we have the most, it's like Yoda crossed with Gandalf crossed with, I don't know, the King of Kings, the Gods of Gods, Dr. Michael Sala. Again, intelligence um, on the intergalactic way of life and what happens there. He works very well. And uh, let me just show you a picture of him first, because he's lovely. beautifully speaking and everything that he delivers is basically on a par with how I deliver you know his his just definitions of soul clusters and soul families it's exactly the same and I sat there and all of the synchronicity that I've been taught from the spirit world and the angel world is exactly the same for other planets it really is and we this has to lead us to the goddess of them all Elena Danan She was mind blowing. It was like watching Princess Sheba. Is it Princess Sheba? Queen Sheba. Queen Sheba. When she did a walk on, oh my God, please, if any of you have got a picture of me doing my walk on, can you let me know? Because Darren pressed the wrong bloody button. Yes, he did. He did. My walk on was so magnificent. And it was Enigma. And it was Return to Innocence. And I was nearly crying my eyes out. It was so, the love there was just beyond anything. And he pressed photo instead of video. I'm going to need to kill him at some point over that. Um, Elena Danan is a pure channel for the intergalactic dimensions, Atlanteans, Arcturians. She just literally smashes it. And she's also helped to create a new development, um, which you will see on her channel, along with um, Dr. Michael Salas and most probably Tony Rodriguez, we're going to talk about in a minute, um, which is the new frill technology, which is going to be incorporated into the new med beds that are coming. We're basically being given a gift from our faraway cousins. And initially, I'm not going to lie, you, you kind of think, mm, I'm going to kind of reserve myself a bit. But I have had um, UFO, if you like, and other alien species interventions and connections. Um, and the most gobsmacking thing is, do you know what? I should have got the journal out, but I haven't had time and I can't find it. I tried to find it the other day. If you remember in my book, Me, Myself and I, my dad said to me that another amazing part of my life, oh God, I've buggered it up already, the most amazing part of my life would happen when I see this symbol. It's a bit of a rubbish symbol, to be fair. Basically, he drew in, his, in my head, and I, I, I drew it into my soul journal. It's a triangle with a circle over the top of it, right? And I've never really seen the exact symbol he showed me ever. Then Elena Down floats onto the stage like the magnificent queen she is, right? She's just mind blown, even just standing looking at her. She creates such a presence that I've never recognised in a soul because obviously she's not like the similar soul to me. Anyway, I'm rambling. So anyway, the first picture she puts up on her slideshow, I've got and I've just put it on was a symbol of the Atlanteans and oh my god it was a symbol of what my dad showed me
and this is the second awakening. He's, and he was basically saying, this is the next stage of your life. And my God, has everything changed? And I started crying because I'm like, I've been there. And I know that I've been in Atlantis. I know that I had um, an incarnation there. I've had repeated dreams over the years of me fighting other colonies um, in colonial wars as mermen, as with Poseidon, the Trident. And she's just rattling it out like it's totally normal and I'm going oh my god you've just woke me up to something I never even knew existed and believe me for other people to wake me up to stuff oh my god I love it it was oh, felt like I'd found one of my homes like I did with Julianis in Italy and um with Catherine in Cornwall you know and Khan in Arizona and now this anyway so that's Elena Danan. Tony Rodriguez, he is the hugger of all huggers. Oh my God. He's the most down to earth, most beautiful, lovely soul. And he also delivers the most incredible story. Tony was abducted when he was 12 years old and spent 20 years on a different colony on different planets and was brought down to the earth plane um, for visits. And he's actually spent a lot of time finding the places he was taken to and identifying them. He's got all the documents. He's got everything there. And um, he then came back into his body and he was 12 years old still. And it was the following morning. Problem was, he's kind of been with women and grown up as a man. And now he's suddenly back in a 12 year old body. Mm, you can imagine how that is. So that was really hard um, to watch. But you know what? He's the most humble man. And he's, he's so down to earth and so wonderful and so creditable. And his story really is awesome. It, you know, just have a look at it. He's just incredible, that man. Then we had the fiery line of Karina. Oh, my God, Karina. She was literally mind-blowing as well. This is Karina. She has really turned the Bible upside down on its ass. I'm not going to lie. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, my God, this is mind blowing. So this is something for the Christians because she studied the scriptures and the testaments in the Old and New Testament of the Bible. And she comes up with the most gobsmacking um, and compelling evidence to show that the Bible really is something very, very different to what you think. Have a follow with her. I'll put all their links in um, in the description box. But she basically made me think, wow. Do you know what I mean? Incredible. And of course, we had the legend that is the Atlantean, Alex Collier. He was there and you could see because I obviously was a newbie at the conference and I was very concerned about that because I wasn't there dealing with intergalactic intelligence or dealing with those sort of things but I was so welcomed so welcomed and I felt part of everybody very very quickly and you know I was a bit worried that I wouldn't. Alex Collier is like a legend and he um stood in front of everybody and you could see the amount of respect and esteem he has um, and I salute you if you watch this. I doubt if you will. Um, but he was just incredible. He commanded such a huge presence. And obviously, you know, it made the crowd go wild that he was there. And of course, we have the wonderful, superb, incredibly beautiful. She reminds me of Jane Fonda, you know. Um, is it Jane Fonda? No. Is it Jane Fonda? Oh, my God. I can't remember the actress. It might. No, it's not Jane Fonda. The crinkly, beautiful, kind eyes. Anyway, Dr. Christiane Northrup. Oh, my God. I didn't realise I was such a legend. I've been talking about her book, The Vampire One. You know, the Energy Vampire book. You'll know if you know Christine, Christiane. And um, I didn't realise who she was to begin with. And it slowly started creeping through when she mentioned Hay House. And basically, I thought, oh, my God. 
My brother Richard talks about her. Everybody talks about her. All my friends talk about her. She's a legend in her own lunchtime universe, planet, you name it. She's a legend in because she was the one that gave us all the details about COVID and vaccinations, which created her being banned from every social media channel, mostly because I've mentioned her. This will be banned. Let's see, shall we? Um, and this is her, by the way. I just had a particular affinity with her and I was um, introduced to her beautiful friend, George Lewis, who, oh my God, I know I'm gonna be doing things with him. Um, oh, that's a bit dodgy. <laughs> Don't trust me, he's not batting for that team. He's the most amazingly beautiful spiritual astrologer. He's an amazing psychic. He said things to me within the first 30 seconds, they just come out of his mouth like you're thinking. And I thought, what did you just say? He's incredible, beautiful. He talks so eloquently. I feel like I'm talking to a Victorian gentleman. Oh my God, George, I love you. There's a photo of us. So look out for him. As I say, I'm planning to interview all these wonderful people um, just for a different perspective because you know, you need to hear them out because the amount of evidence that they actually bring to the fore is mind blowing. It is. Last but not least, my darling angel friend, who I know I'm going to be doing some TV with soon, is the wonderful Danny Henderson. She gave the most, again, compelling um, story, which is all in her new book, Angels, um, Demons and Aliens, or is it Angels, Aliens and Demons? I think it's that. Or is it a Aliens, Angels and Demons? <laughs> you know what I mean? Danny Henderson, my God, she reminds me of a very young Goldie Horn. She's stunningly beautiful. She's funny. She's down to earth. She's passionate. She's got the most angriest passion that reminds me of me in my younger days. But my God, is she an absolute darling. And this is us. And I might say we did have a little bit of a jig after our last dinner um, when we were all together. We went and had a little dance at the... Um, at the attendees dance place it was just so good i can't even think of words now because i'm just so in awe of everybody that was there and what happened and um danny henderson was the one that invited me over there i feel i i feel that it's basically put another little dot on the map for me because of all the amount of followers that have joined me um i can't thank her enough and i know that i'll be doing a lot more things with her in the future um so i can't wait to be doing that with her she's just got so much knowledge of so many different things she's been out there for years and years like me but i look like i do and she looks like a 20 year old what's that about <laughs> she amassed all of these beautiful souls together and these beings together and i have to say i have never Never, and I'm not being disrespectful to any crowds or conferences I've been to in my life, but this has got to be the best conference I've ever, ever attended. And the love and the willingness to listen and open their hearts in the crowd was palpable. I've never felt anything like it. The American people are so, and don't get me wrong, there are people from all over the world, okay? But the American people were absolutely so open and eager to learn now, even though I was on a completely different spectrum not so much because obviously Danny was doing about angels and aliens and demons but the fact is is that I did not feel at any any stage oh, what's she all about none of that it was just yay Nikki yay they didn't even know I bloody was at the beginning of it they didn't care the love was incredible and I can't thank you enough hang on a minute because I'm going to get emotional I've spent many, many years since my um, road accident thinking that my life was over as an ambassador from the spirit world and for the angel realms. I really did. I thought, do you know what? Perhaps I'll just chuck out a book and it'll, you know, sell a couple hundred. I'll do my little, you know, videos on here. and But everything's catapulted and I'm really pleased for that. And it isn't from a place of ego. 
I want to do my bit and reach as many people as I can. And as I've said to you in my new book that's coming out, Earthwalkers, um, God, the editing started on Monday. <laughs> um, there's portal mediums that are there to help people during this tiny little crisis. It's only a tiny little crisis because it will be done. It will be sorted. Um, and, you know, now I know that we've got galactic friends also assisting us. And please look up the frill technology and the med beds. Just start waking yourselves up if you don't know already, because I now feel fully awake. There's always something I felt I didn't quite know. And the Atlantean thing was always a bit of a mystery to me. I thought, do I make it up? Is it because that even I've got my mermaid on here, you know? Oh, another shout out to Sue Risby. Look, look at that. And the actual, she's put black obsidian on me and I never would have put that on. But my God, do I need it at the moment? With this huge demand, you know, I'm like, I'm losing the plot. Um, thank you, Sue, for that. Um, Crystal Moon, if you want to look for, look for on Facebook, she does the most amazing jewellery for the UK people. Um, yeah, so everything's just gone boom. So please bear with me. Please be patient. I'm trying to get people to help me with the admin, so please be patient with them as well. Um, I, I have been on my own, chugging away. Oliver from psychic.co.uk has been um, amazing and held my hand and said, come on, you've got to keep going, when I've just thought, what's the point? And I'm not going to lie, I said this to Christian Northrup when we went for dinner. Yes, I went for dinner with Dr. Christian Northrup. <laughs> she asked me to go to dinner. I was like, oh my God, all right then. <laughs> ah, darling. Um, and we talk every day. Oh God. Anyway, um, yeah, I just thought it would just be me and Oliver and I would just trundle along and suddenly it's me on my own and thousands and thousands of emails, orders, book orders um, and people are asking, why haven't you got a membership? Can you do any exclusive stuff? I'm like, oh my God. So there are plans in motion. There are plans in motion, okay, for um, this expansion that's taken place. So just be patient with me. There's going to be new email systems a new website everything's going to have to change to deal with the demand um and so i can't thank you enough i really hope that you stay with me on this journey um my last book was called the rise and fall of britain's best psychic media perhaps i should do another one saying the second rise and that's all due to you and some beautiful people that the universe has sent me such as alex ferrari Jeff Mara and um, Danny Henderson and all the other beautiful people that have come along the way. So I'm going to stop being such a worse. And I really hope you enjoy this. So many people have said, where's your G-Sick? Where is it? Where is it? What happened? What did you get up to? It was mind blowing. I, there's no other word for it. And I desperately hope I'll be there for the next one. Um, I'm going to have to suck up to Danny. I am. Um, but until the next time, I love you all. And I deeply mean this from the bottom of my heart and my soul. Thank you for your ever-loving support and always being there, watching the videos, sharing them and sending me the most beautiful messages and presents. I've got so many. Steve, hang on a minute. I've just got to do a shout out for Steve. Look what I've got here. I still haven't got around to replying to you, Steve. So if you watch this, I thank you and I'll be sending you a thank you. Look, it's Archangel Michael carved out of what looks like silver birch. Seriously, I've had so many things. Sorry if I haven't mentioned your presence. I just, I've been getting stuff every day. I just can't believe it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll speak to you again very t soon. And I'll be doing a channel very soon as well. Um, yeah, so take care. Think good things because good things will come back to you if you create them. I promise you. Lots of love. 16.